Hello everyone, welcome back to my stream. Sorry for starting so late again. I, I just, I wanted to make sure that uh, there wouldn't be any interruptions during my stream, which is why I'm starting so late. But anyway, oh boy, that Falcon and Winter Soldier episode, oh boy, l l let me tell you. Oh boy, let me tell you, that, that um, you know, that, that, that ending right there w w was really something else, like, like, uh, <laughs> I kind of want to talk about it immediately, but it, it wouldn't right to, to, to be skipped to the ending, uh, so I'm gonna try to go over, um, you know, everything else that happened in the episode first, but, um, you know, <laughs> again, uh, I'm not... I didn't take any notes this time, so I'm, I'm kind of going off the top of my head, so, you know, forgive me if I'm all over the place and, and forgetful of things that, you know, happen in the episode and whatnot, you know, so, pretty sure, okay, so yeah, so at the end of the last episode, we, we saw that, um, that, that, that Bucky had, had, a uh, found that someone from Wakanda, part of the Dorisha, about ba <laughs> the Dora, ba I, I I can never say the the name of, of that group properly, but, but yeah, but basically the, the those female warriors from Rakanda, you know, that that work for the Black Panther and such, you know, they they were there, you know, to to secure Zemo because of, of course the Wakandas would want to imprison him for for killing kill, for killing King Ch K ah. for killing. King T'Chaka. So, you know, you know, so they, they, they meet, you know, they, they have a talk, you know, how could you free him and, and stuff like that. Bucky explains that they need him for, for something. He's a means to an end, as, as he puts it. So, you know, the, the person that Bucky is talking to, um, you know, it gives them eight hours to, um, do what it is that they need to do. Otherwise, you know, they're gonna come in and try to capture Zemo anyway, so. So yeah, that, that basically puts a time limit on what they're able to do, you know, of course they're there looking for uh, the leader of the Flag Smashers who is going to be at, at a funeral for her aunt who just died, and um, uh, so, so they go into like neighborhood or the immediate area or, or whatever of, you know, where they are, you know, at, look at going around asking people for, for information. But of course, you know, nobody want, wants to say anything to them because they don't, they don't trust outsiders, you know. But Zemo manages to, to gain the trust of, of some children who, who know where the funeral is going to be. So, you know, that's how they get the information. But of course, Zemo being Zemo, you know, he he knows where 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 um uh the funeral is going to be, but but isn't going to hand over all of the all of the information that he has, you know, because he knows that that you know as soon as you know they're done with whatever, they're they're gonna turn on him and and turn him in, and of course he doesn't want that. So you know it, that's pretty much basically you know what I said before, you know, like, like, Zemo is savvy enough to know that they're gonna double-cross him once they're finished with him, but, uh, you know, they, they still manage to, um, you know, go to the funeral and, and everything, and, uh, of course, um, U.S. agent and Battlestar manage to track down Bucky and Sam, and, uh, you know, <laughs> They're there to help, so to speak, but of course they they don't really help because you know what's up. Um, you know they, you know, so they're they're there to help, but but, but of course the the way John Walker wants to handle the, the the situation is completely different from how how Sam wants to handle it. You know he wants to try to tell Carly down, you know, try to reason with her and whatnot. John doesn't think that uh, that they can do that though, and you know thus goes against Sam's plan and, until his friend tells him that he he should at least give it a try. But but of course you know he he still has to act on his own terms. So once they actually get to the funeral and, and Sam's about to 
walk in to, to go talk to her, you know, uh, John handcuffs his emo to like a, a, a boiler or something. It, he, he handcuffs him to a thing so he can't escape and, and then tells Sam that he's got 10 minutes to, um, you know, talk her down, you know. So basically putting a time limit on, you know, how long he could talk to her. You know, if he hasn't come back after this amount of time, it, it means something's happened to him. You know, basically giving him a reason to intervene. And Sam actually seems to be able to successfully talk her down. And I actually really like the conversation that he has with her. Um, you know, it's, you know, especially the part where he, he, he says that he agrees with her fight, just not the way that she's fighting it. You know, that's very similar to what Captain America said to the Flag Smasher in the comics. So that happens. And, and, and of course, you know, just when it seems like everything is going to... Um, you know, like, like he successfully talked her down, you know, of course, U.S. agent intervenes and, and you know, ruins the whole thing. You know, she, she thinks that um, he, he was, was just trying to, you know, like, like she feels betrayed, basically. Like, like she, she doesn't feel like, like she can trust Sam anymore. But, of course, later on in the episode, you know, she um, tries to talk to him again to, to see, you know, to see if he if he was lying and whatnot, you know, but but of course you know, John John comes along and, and, and ruins it again. You know, there's no telling how, how the meet, the meeting that happens later on in the episode would have gone if um you know had that not happened. You know, so you know, <laughs> um, but before that happens, um, they 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 go back to the place where where they're staying. With, with Zemo, and, and um, of course, you know, at that point, the, their time is up, so the Dora, the Dora Malaysia, the, 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 yeah, whatever, the Dora Malaysia, or however it's said, you know, comes to capture Zemo, but of course, you know, Bucky and Sam are not done with him yet, so of course they resist, but it's not them that, that they fight at first, it's, um, it's, you know, because <laughs> U.S. Agent and, and Battlestar are there, too. So, of course, you know, they they uh, they, they, they say that the, the door of Malaysia... <sighs> God, I, I happen to say that every time. Uh, he, he tells them that, that they, they don't have jurisdiction there, which is funny, because he, he, he's, you know, it's not like he has any jurisdiction where he is either, but whatever. So he, he tries to stop them from taking Zemo because, of course, he wants to return Zemo to his cell. So, of course, the two fight over that. And, and, and of course, they're completely outnumbered. So, um, you know, in order to, 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 to keep the, the door morale... Uh, the door morale... Uh, I'll learn how to say that one day. But yeah, in order to keep them from, from killing uh, U.S. Agent and Battlestar... It, Sam and Bucky step in and, um, you know, help, help them fight, um, the Black Panther group. <laughs> so, um, Zemo uses this as an opportunity to escape. And, and, of course, you know, nobody sees where he went. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to turn up again at some point. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see him... If anything, he'll show up in, in the last episode. I don't think we're going to see him again in the next episode. Obviously, it's possible that, that we might, but from the way things are going at the moment, I don't think we will see him. But again, it, it is possible. So, you know, after that happens, you know, like I said, um, oh yeah, there was also something else that that's very important that, that happened after the funeral. Dur during that whole chase sequence where, where they run after Carly af after U.S. agent ruined Sam's plan. Um, so so Carly actually had the, the super soldier serum, what was left of it, on her. You know, she kept it, you know, in, inside of a, of a thing in a grave, you know, and, and she put on the pouch and... Uh, she actually lost it during the chase, and uh, Zemo d discovered that, because um, the, the whole thing's 
the, all of the serum spilled out um, outside of her pouch when, you know, w while she was getting chased. And, and Zemo saw that, that that's what was left of the serum. And he, d he destroyed what he thought was all the vials. But there was actually still one left that he didn't notice. And when U.S. agent knocked him out and, and, and saw what he did, he actually saw that there was still one vial left. So, of course, he... Uh, he, he, he puts it away, and, and, and later he takes it for himself off-screen. And, uh, you know, we, we later see um, when, um, after he ruins the, the second meeting between Sam and, and Carly, um, you know, there's another chase sequence that, that ensues, and, 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 and of course, a, a fight sequence. And during that fight sequence, we, we see that, that um, John has uh, taken the Super Soldier Serum. So, um, but yeah, uh, the next few events are, are, are where things really get, get crazy, um, because, um, so, um, while, while, uh, John and, and Battlestar, or, or Lamar, I should say, are, um, looking for the Flag Smashers, you know, and, and, and more specifically Carly, um, Lamar gets, uh, knocked out and, and dragged into a bathroom and you know I, I at first I, I thought he was going to die because I was thinking that it, it's not water that that's leaking in that room but rather oil or, or gasoline and 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 they're gonna have the room explode you know just as he's about to escape but I was actually surprised that he actually managed to, to free himself and, and he didn't die in there but but then you know once he actually joins the fight against the Flag Smashers, you know, he actually does die. And, and so, you know, that caught me off guard. And, 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 and of course, you know, John pretty much freaks out at this point, you know. <laughs> well, I assume what, what was his best friend just got killed, you know. So, of course, he's going to want revenge for that. And, and, and so he immediately starts chasing after... Uh, one of the other flag smashers, you know, he, he's looking for Carly, of course, but, um, you know, he, he, he doesn't, he doesn't see her, so he chases after one, one of them, and, and, you know, and, and out in open space, you know, in the middle of public and everything, you know, he starts beating this guy in with his shield and, 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 and kills him, you know, like, like we actually see blood on his shield, you know, and, and that's how the episode ends, and, and that was just like, Whoa, like, 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 like th this show took a really dark turn at, at, at the end there w w with that last episode. That was like, wow. Like, I got chills, you know, from, from that ending. That, that was, uh, I mean, I, I pretty much knew that, that something was going to, to, to happen, most likely in this episode, where, um, you know, John's going to do something that, that's going to cause him to get his shield revoked and, and be deemed not worthy of, of being the next Captain America, which is how Sam is going to uh, have the shield passed down to him and whatnot, and realize it was a mistake to retire the shield and not just become Captain America himself. Well, this event is definitely going to be that event, you know, like, like I, I'm pretty sure I said last week that, um, excuse me, something like this gonna ha was going to happen. Obviously, you know, I, I couldn't say specifically what because, you know, it could have been anything. But, you know, th this moment right here, th th this is it. This is because, you know, it, it was not only done out in public and everything, but, but also, um, you know, because um, there's people watching, you know, and, and everybody's got a cell phone with a video camera in it these days. So, so of course, everybody's recording, watching what, what's happening. And of course, nobody there knows exactly why he did what he did, right? You know, the reason why he killed this guy is because his friend was killed and, and he wants revenge. But, but nobody who, who who's seeing that happen knows that, you know, for, for all they know, you know, Captain America j just killed somebody randomly out of nowhere, out of anger, you know. So that's definitely going to cause some, some, some problems for him and, and Possibly also for the U.S. government as well, you know, like, 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 let me tell you that, you know, the, the amount of things that, 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 that could happen, you know, 
like like not just in the next episode but but going forward in the MCU as a whole like like that that the ending of the last episode got me really excited like like holy shit like I need to see the next episode right now like I need to see it right now like I need to be already watching the next episode like that's how excited that this ending got me like like I know I I said about WandaVision that that you know each episode made me looking forward to the next more than the last and eventually it got to the point where I wanted to see the next episode immediately and this episode of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier has uh, pushed me to that point where I need to see the next episode immediately like immediately 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 like, <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that 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 oh. That, that, that ending w was certainly <coughs> very much uh, something else. That, cool. that, 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 that ending got me amped and hyped as all hell. Like, man, I, I can't even properly describe how, how excited that, that, en that ending got me. That, that was, wow. So what, what's probably going to happen with, um, with U.S. Agent is... Um, because at the moment he he's acting as a replacement for 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 Captain America, but but you know now that this has happened he he's probably going to be stripped of his title but will still want to operate um you know a, a, as a, an agent for the government or whatever, but they they probably won't allow him to be because of this incident, um but but again he he's got the super soldier serum now so um. You know, he, he effectively uh, is uh, more or less like a, like a Captain America type of character. Um, but, um, yeah, but yeah, this is going to lead to him going, going from being Captain America to, to being U.S. agents. And um, who he uh, works for exactly, uh, I, I'm not sure. Um, it, it's possible that, that he'll end up joining the Thunderbolts whenever, you know, that team gets formed in the MCU, which is probably going to be within the next few years if, um, you know, depending on how events of this show play out. It's probably going to, you know, like, I'm pretty sure that, that this show is going to set up or at least begin setting up, you know, the Thunderbolts eventually coming into the MCU. Um, so, you know, U.S. agent could end up being a member of that team, you know, he could just be operating as a free agent. Like, it's kind of hard to tell where exactly his character is going to go from here, um, because that's more or less, you know, how, how things were in the comics. You know, U.S. Agent was a character that, after he was rejected at as, you know, by, by the the comic book fandom, that is, after he was rejected uh, as the the new Captain America, you know, Marvel. Did a whole bunch of things trying to experiment with his character, you know, seeing what worked for him and what didn't, you know, they, they put him on a whole bunch of teams, gave him a whole bunch of different roles, you know, changed his design a couple of times, you know, so he, 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 he never really had any kind of a consistent characterization and whatnot, so, um, that's probably going to be the same thing that will happen for him in, in, in the MCU, albeit with a better characterization and not as much experimentation. Um, just that, um, you know, he's going to be going from, from, from team to team and whatnot, working for, for, for different people who may or may not keep him on for, for whatever reason. You know, it, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, you know, where exactly um, things are going to go for him. Uh going forward. Um, as for Zemo, I, I'm pretty sure, um, uh, assuming we don't see him again, you know, for, for the rest of the show, um, when we will see him again, if anything, we'll, we'll see him, you know, in, in the post credit scene for the last episode. Um, if anything, they'll, they'll hint at him forming his own anti-superhero team, you know, because his whole deal is, um, you know, superheroes shouldn't exist and whatnot, you know, so he, he's going to uh, form a team to, to help, uh, you know, break them up or, and, and, of course, prevent new ones from being created and whatnot, so, you know, that that's most likely where, where he's headed, um, and, uh, 
And I'm pretty sure, you know, because, so of course, you know, that, that it's, it's pretty obvious where things are going to go for, for, for Sam from here on out. Like, like he's going to end up becoming the new Captain America because John Walker will have proven himself to be unworthy, you know, so to speak. Um, and, and, um, as, and, uh, Bucky will probably just continue, you know, doing what, what he's always been, you know, what he's been doing up to this point anyway, you know, he's been pardoned and, and whatnot, you know, doing, uh, working for the government, you know, to, as a condition for his pardon and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, how the events that, that, that just happened in this episode are, are going to affect that. It, it, it's probably not going to look good for him, even though it, what happened wasn't his fault and, and things like that, but, um, but yeah, um, as for the Flag Smashers, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that, that, that the group will end up dis dismantled, um, by the end of the, of the, of the show, um, I'm not sure whether or not if Carly is going to end up dying, if anything, uh, she'll probably end up being captured and imprisoned or on the run. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what, what, what's going to happen with her, but I'm pretty sure that the rest of the group will be uh, dealt with one way or another by, by the end of the show.